Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So we had Sony and Tencent make a pretty big investment in the developer of Elden Ring, and Konami teases a new title in a well-loved series. We have those topics and more to cover, but before we get started, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell and we can keep you up to date with gaming news. Now let's get started. So first we had an announcement that Tencent and Sony Interactive have bought 30% in the Elden Ring developer from Soft. Now Tencent bought 16.25% and Sony bought 14.69%. Now we had this statement coming from Katakawa, which is the parent company of FromSoft. They say, through the implementation of the fund procurement, From Software will aim to proactively invest in development of more powerful game IP for itself to strengthen From Software's development capabilities and will seek to establish a framework that allows the expansion of the scope of its own publishing in the significantly growing global market. In addition to these purposes, for an increase of the number of users in the global market for game IP that From Software creates and develops, From Software decided to conduct the third party allotment to Six Joy within the Tencent Group, which has strength in its capabilities to develop and deploy mobile games and other network technologies in the global market, including China and Sony Interactive Entertainment within Sony Group which has strength in its capabilities to deploy IP and games, videos, and various other media in the global market concurrently or separately. So I wouldn't think of this as a buyout that From Software will only make games for PlayStation now that Sony owns 14.69%. A lot of this is just infusing money into the company and it'll help them to develop more games and in return, Sony and Tencent get a return on their investment. Now the deal is supposed to close between September 7th and the 12th, which is a pretty quick turnaround, which I would think so because it's not a complete buyout. But there are some analysts that think it could give some preferential treatment to Sony, but let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think we'll see From Software only release games on PlayStation platforms? Or maybe they'll do one year exclusive agreements, or maybe nothing will change at all. Next, it looks like Konami is teasing a game in a series that they call World Loved. And this is going to happen at Tokyo Game Show. And on September 16th, you can see here they have scheduled Konami new title announcement stage, a Konami new title announcement in which voice actor Yuki Kaji is invited on stage as a guest to represent fans of a world-loved series title. Now just taking a quick look at Yuki Kaji's IMDB page, I can see that he's worked on a lot of different anime as well as video games, like he was in Attack on Titan, Demon Slayer and Dorymon. So I do have to wonder when they say a world loved series title, could they actually be meaning an anime and not a game? But let's just say they are looking at a video game series title. There's been several leaks out this past year for games such as a Silent Hill 2 remake, as well as a remake of Metal Gear Solid 3. Now this presentation is going to air at 2.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time on September 16th. So we here in the West will probably find out about that when we wake up that Friday morning. So let me know what you think. Do you think this is going to be some big gaming series title or maybe an anime series title? Or will Konami just be announcing a new maybe Metal Gear themed pachinko machine? And then finally, we have the PlayStation Plus games for the month of September. So the game you get for Premium Extra and Essential, all the tiers, is Need for Speed Heat. This is for the PS4, and it had a 72 Metacritic. And then we have Tome on the PS5, and this is an adventure game, and it scored an 80 Metacritic. 
And then finally, Grand Blue Fantasy Versus for the PS4. And this only had one review on Metacritic, and it was given an 85. And this is an action-fighting 2D game. And then the big list of games that were added to the Plus and Premium tiers are Deathloop for the PS5, Assassin's Creed Origins for the PS4, Watch Dog 2 for the PS4, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 for the PS4, Spirit Far, I think that's how you pronounce that, Farewell Edition for the PS4, Chikori, A Colorful Tale for the PS4, Monster Energy Supercross, the official video game, 5 for the PS4 and PS5. Then we have Alex Kid and Miracle World DX for the PS4 and PS5. Rabbids Invasion, the interactive TV show for the PS4, Raymond Legends for the PS4, and Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, the game, Complete Edition for the PS4. And then we had quite a few of the classic games added to the premium tier. You can take a look here, we've got Siphon Filter 2, the Sly Collection, and just a reminder, these PS3 games would be streaming and not running native emulation. Sly Cooper Thieves in Time, Bentley's Hack Pack, Toy Story 3, and Kingdom of Paradise. So it's good to see some of these classic games finally get added into this service. If there's anything here you think that we should know about and try out, make sure to leave us a comment and let us all know. And that's all we have for today. Did anything we cover catch your attention? Do you think From Software may give preferential treatment to PlayStation now that Sony owns 14.69% of the company? And are you expecting big things from that Konami announcement on the 16th? Or are you preparing for disappointment? Drop a comment about those topics or anything else we covered today. And to just give you an update on the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 Special Edition giveaway, that should have closed by the time this video goes up, and I should have the winner announced in a video sometime later this week. So good luck to everybody who entered, and I appreciate those who subscribed to the channel even though it wasn't required for the giveaway. And I really do appreciate those that have continued to stay subscribing even when I mess things up. So I want to thank you for watching and be good.